Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. This week we got a really cool video because we're going back to the old school, back to when it was just characters and octopi and this one felt good because I felt like it was less serious. It was dipping into some like chill shit. So I've been gone for a while. I am so sorry. This is the first video of the new year. So much has changed. I got engaged to my best friend. We're building the website. You see this right here? This is pretty dope, huh? Like, yeah, it's got the joint on the back. Oh, I'm so excited to bring you that video. The homie Ten Hun might stop by and hang out with us for that video for a little bit too. Oh man, just uh, so much, so much has been going on and I'm very excited. One of the things that I wanted to also like, you know, pat myself on the back about is we are finally monetized. All you YouTubers out there, it took me damn near four years to get monetized on YouTube, fully monetized. And while some people get there a lot quicker, some people do the algorithm better like just keep going and stuff because eventually you will figure it out and eventually you'll get to monetization a big part of that was being on that 10 hun collab and you know, i can't thank my boy enough for that shit so anyway without further ado let's get right into the video <laughs> Yo, all right, so check this out. I was going through some of my old pictures and I saw this picture of a phone booth that's at this really cool bar in Detroit called the Checker Bar. And I loved the picture and it was just so random that I even took it. Like out of all the pictures that I took, this is like one of the only ones that was not of like people and whatnot. So I thought the picture was really cool. And now that I have this large printer, that a photo printer that I can use now, thanks to my baby Katie Cakes, thank you, boo. Boop, boop, she got it for me for Christmas so I can actually print out photos and I can print my prints. Anyway, I thought the picture was really cool and I wanted to print it out and I thought it would be cool if we got back into our Andromedans and kind of had an Andromedan coming out of the phone booth. So the first one that I took or the first one that I printed out was this one and I think that it came out cool but I don't know, like the colors just weren't right for me. So I went back in the Photoshop and then I got a really cool colorway right here that I think is really cool and will look dope for our Andromedan coming out of there. I don't know if this is, <laughs> if you can see it, I'll, I'll put it up over here somewhere so you can see. But yeah, I think this is gonna be really cool with the pinks and the blues and I'm gonna incorporate some purples in there. Maybe a little orange, we'll see. But I think this is gonna be a really cool colorway and let's get into it <laughs> all right i think the first order of business is going to be to put some sort of something over this i think i don't know i think i need to put like some matte medium or something like that over it so it so the paint goes on there well but my thing is too is that this material feels like it'll absorb paint really good so i figure let's go ahead and on the test one kind of see how it is in paint on it i guess <laughs> all right so this has like a little bit of liquid on it but let's see how that goes on it actually feels okay. It doesn't feel that bad. Now, I don't know if this is gonna mess up in the future, but there's only one way to find out. Yeah, that feels actually really good. All right, let's see how it goes over like a dark area and if it's like opaque and all. Oh, that feels great. Let me see. Kind of curious to know how it is with blending as well. See how the colors like blend together. Oh, that goes on great. So I wonder about when it dries. It's crazy that this and this are the exact same color. Look, it's light as heck when you go over here. But then when you come over here to a lighter area, it looks super dark. Oh, values. <laughs> One of my arch nemesis. Guess the more you do it, the better you get, I guess. But yeah, I think this goes on really good. And I think it'll blend nice as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna put over some sort of like medium on top of it because I don't know, I, I feel like it might, it might screw it up. 
All right, so we start this thing off by going ahead and getting a basic sketch down. Now, I thought about using like transfer paper and all of that, but I think it's good to have like, you know, as much sketching as possible. Most of the time I rely on that transfer paper too much. Now I'm putting over some white gesso and it wasn't to like paint over, it was more to kind of like get the photo out of the way so I could <laughs> see what I was painting. And uh, I'm going in with some darker lines here again to just let me know like roughly where parts are gonna be. I'm figuring out the greenish underlay I found on a lot of my older paintings. Like I always went too light. So uh, I made sure to go pretty dark on that. I put some gold in there into his crown as well as I'm using metallic, um, metallic paints for the suckers here. I found this green and this blue that looked really cool. So I went ahead and did that. Also just getting something over the eyes. And then we're coming in with the stencil. Oh, this is like my favorite part. Like I love the way that like the stencil made it pop. And most of the time with a lot of my Andromedans, I do the fabric with the different patterns in it. But damn, if the stencil didn't make it pop. I thought about doing fabric, but I didn't have any fabrics that really matched the color that I wanted. I wanted this to be really, you know, pink and blue, like bluish tealish. Uh, you see that orange little tag over there. I'm gonna eventually get rid of that too because I just really wanted to stick to that, stick to that theme. It's giving a little blue uh, outline right now, just to more separation. I really love how like just busy in general this painting is. You know, I'm like all over the place. Now I'm going in with some shadows. I wanted to make sure that like you know that the stencil still shows through but I wanted to have those like you know darker shadows to just you know separate the painting going in with some more like you know black outlines here I am getting rid of that orange in there because we stick into the color scheme there's like this like pinkish or this like orange I don't know get rid of that now I'm just up there like oh man I'm loving the way this is coming out but I knew I wanted to go in with more details so we're gonna go ahead and get these these are probably my favorite like little suckies on any like octopus or andromedan that i've done thus far i felt like i uh i feel like i got, I got, I got them down how i like like how i like to do them and yeah we're just um getting into the just finer details and some like you know more shimmery metallics to the yeah to it's all over the pink and yeah we're just wrapping this thing up <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for coming out for another video. Like I said, this one was, you know, all the fun and stay tuned for more to come. There's so much I want to like, you know, let you, I want to do interviews. Like uh, I've been in contact with, uh, you know, a few uh, pretty big name art YouTubers and I think it would be kind of cool to, you know, sit and like, you know, have a little interview with them, you know, something chill. Not that like, you know, regular, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, just know that we are thriving over here. I want to do another studio tour too because a lot has changed in the lab. So yeah, uh, peace, love. So, 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 so much love for coming out for another video. And uh, yeah, and I'll catch you in the next time for some more sweet shit. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next time. I got to like that. I'll catch you in the next time for some more sweet shit. That's going to be my new joint. <laughs> yeah.